Hoffman calling a scrub for the day here at the Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39B. Safety is the top of the list. We're not going to launch until it's right. NASA once again calling off the Artemis 1 launch after discovering a fuel leak. Click to Houston was first to let you know that launch was scrapped for the day. Crews spending the morning trying to fix the issue, but they were unsuccessful. This is a live look now at the rocket on the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. NASA says they will decide next week on possible launch dates in September and October. Our Taisha Walker has been in Cape Canaveral, Florida all week covering this for us. And Taisha, we understand that that October timeline could actually interfere with a SpaceX launch. See ya, NASA's SpaceX Crew 5 mission is scheduled to launch on the first week of October, meaning if NASA decides that they want to launch their SLS rocket way in the distance behind me in the month of October, they'll have to do it later that month. We do not launch until we think it's right. For a second time this week, NASA had to scrub its uncrewed Artemis 1 mission due to technical issues. On Monday, NASA officials said it was a sensor that gave a false reading of one of the engine's temperatures. Today, they say they were unsuccessful at stopping a large liquid hydrogen fuel leak. Crews will have to see what needs to be done either on the launch pad or at the vehicle assembly building, taking the September 5th launch window off the table. Launch period 25 is definitely off the table. We won't be launching, uh, you know, our, this period ends on Tuesday. We will not be launching uh, in this launch period. Yes. Joe Miranda from South Florida says he knows you have to crawl before you can fly. And it's even better to be slow and steady than to win the space race. This is all a trial mission. So everything has to be perfect before they go. They absolutely right. Any little leak, any little problem, if it can't be fixed over there, bring it back, fix it, and then we try it again. That's the whole thing. Truck driver Mario Jamie says he's been camping out in Titusville since yesterday. Though it didn't happen today, he's optimistic about a return to the moon. Be it's phenomenal to see something like this. So and it's uh, 50 years in the making. So it's. Uh, it's going to be great. Epic. NASA says instead of aiming to do another launch early next week, they plan to use that time to figure out how to fix the issues with that leak, whether on the launch pad behind me or moving it four miles over here to the vehicle assembly building right there. NASA officials saying in the meeting today that whether they do either options, there are risks and rewards for both. Reporting live from Cape Canaveral, Florida, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News. Taisha, thank you so